What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kishi, that's Ki and Ashi. And if it's your first time here, make sure you smash the subscribe button and put on your nose, your nose? Your nose? Ha! Don't do your nose. And if it's your first time here, make sure you smash the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I post a new video. Oh my goodness, happy new year! We made it to 2022. We made it to 2022. And I know 2022 is gonna be amazing for all of us. I'm optimistic. So today I have a really cool sneaker to share with you guys. You know, I always like to give a backstory. So let me give the backstory. I've just really been meaning to get uh, black air forces and there aren't that many out there or actually black trainers period. You've got black cats and I'm not paying 1K for that. I'm size five and they are very expensive. Tell me if you agree. Put it in the, put it in the comments below if you have black cats or if you, you would like to get some and it's just overpriced for no reason. With that being said, I went on the hunt for some sort of black trainer that was kind of chunky because I didn't want the flat, the flat look. If not, I would have just got like uh, some Jordans or something. So I found these, the G Dragon and Air Force collab. And prior to this, I wasn't actually aware of G Dragon as a designer, but let's do some history work here. Okay guys, you know I'm not the educative type, but I'll just tell you. So G Dragon was actually part of a K-pop group in Korea. And um, he then went on into designing and like loads of cool artwork and graffiti and stuff. He has a brand called Peace Minus One, which is really cool and has a very cool ethos as well. So let's get into to the trainer oh off the bat guys i'll tell you what i'm obsessed with the box this is so cool like i haven't got any trainers period that has like such a cool box so firstly actually before i get ahead of myself this graffiti work is what i was talking about when i said he does like really cool art so something of life and the top the nike with the swoosh has like a gloss texture and it's a bit raised on a matte background size five if anyone wants to um Send me trainers. So off the bat, the tissue is so cool. I actually did some research and it's got, I believe this is Korean. Correct me if I'm wrong. It says, just do it in Korean. How cool is that? Ooh, yeah. Like I said, I was going for black trainers and this was the closest thing to what looked cool enough for me. So let's delve into it. Let's talk about this. The brush strokes, so cool, so awesome. You just know like, if it gets a little bit dirty, no one's even gonna clock. Um, one thing I did notice is the scratches. At first I thought, what to the trainer? But it's on purpose because the top layer of uh, like the black actually is meant to peel off. So um, as the trainer wears, um, it's meant to peel off to show like this really cool graffiti piece that um, G-Dragon did on the trainer, which is similar to this actually. Or if you want it from jump, you could just like apply a little bit of heat, like get your blow dryer or something from afar. You can actually just use like some tweezers to literally pick it off and it will show the amazing piece of art underneath it. Oh, let's talk about the price. Okay, let me go there. This is expensive for Air Forces, you know? I don't know if it's because, I don't even know. I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. No, so these came out in 2019. They're a couple years old now, but they're still crazy expensive. I heard that the Korean drop was crazy. I know that the um, Korean drop had a different colorway. So the swoosh was actually red, which is so awesome. And the laces were red too. And he also like gave his staff just the same, the same piece, but with yellow swoosh and yellow laces as well, which is so amazing. Right, so back to the shoe before I get distracted again. So in the shoe, you've got Peace Minus One, the brand logo. The Peace Minus One logo is also on the tongue of the shoe. You can see it's just a daisy with a missing piece of petal, which is the minus one. And the laces are chunky. They are so thick. This is what I love, love, love about this. And I remember in like the promotional pictures that I saw, the laces were actually tied in the opposite direction. So it looks so cool. I think I'm probably gonna do that to you, to be honest. The base of the shoe is like still this graffiti print, which is so, so cool. I like how he's kind of tried to be different without being too loud, if that makes sense. Okay, so here, You've got the piece minus one tag. I suppose it's like a special authentication tag, I suppose. And then you've got the black laces. Yep, I will definitely be using that. And then you've also got these lace hole covers. 
Oh, this is so cool. I feel so sentimental, like. You can tell like he really put himself in this and really tried to include everything that, you know, the brand stands for. Um, authenticity, but still very quirky. Still looks cool and neat. I love it. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed already. I will say in Air Forces, I normally size down or half a size. So this is actually in a 4.5. I didn't get this on retail. I actually have a shoe plug and he is the absolute best. His name is Nick and he plugs me with all of my trainers. Well, the ones that I can't get myself anyway. And I think he got this like shit from the States or from Korea or from somewhere, but it retailed for, let me get the price. It retailed for 750 yeah so i suppose you know nick probably added his own ginger so that he can you know make some prof but maximum is going to add 150 so let's say it's about 600 pounds for air forces normal air forces in my size would be about 55 pounds just to show you the um difference at the base of the shoe also has got these brush strokes very minimally though, it's not too heavy. It's kind of like giving nothing's perfect, which kind of goes with the ethos of the, like the brand. I feel like I'm part of a community. Peace minus one, minus one. So let's put her on. This is gonna go with everything, like literally everything. It's black and white. It's a staple piece, but it's also a statement piece. And I think that's exactly what he intended. In a couple of years, this is gonna wear down and become a new trainer. So basically two for one. He's a smart cookie. Thanks, G. <laughs> okay, seriously, let's put her on. All right, I've got them on. They are so comfortable. I mean, like, you know, Air Forces aren't really comfortable like that, but these are actually pretty cool. I was saying also, cause I fluctuate between a four and a 4.5, cause I don't really like my Air Forces creasing, so I'd rather bend up my toe. Uh, these are a 4.5 and they fit her Effect. And they kind of feel like soft, very comfortable, very strange. Not Air Force y, but maybe he added some more jazz. It's got that cool Air Force look in there. I'd wear this probably like this, like with combats and all that kind of good stuff. But if you wanted to wear it with like maybe leggings or like shorts or like a black dress or something cute like that, you probably could. You know what Air Forces are like? Look how pretty that looks. Normally, I tuck in my Air Force laces because I just like that snug look, but this actually works with laces out and I never have laces out, guys. I love. And watch at the back there, the brush stroke just goes in line. It's the details for me, honey. It's the details for me. Vibes, as you can see, I've just started with this uh, gym top. These like cargo e thing. You know the shaka shaka thing that you wear in PE? It's giving that. You guys will see how I style it anyway on my Instagram. Definitely check that out. But yeah, I'm in love. On foot, I'd say it's a 10. And you know I don't give people 10 like that, but I'd say it's a 10. Yeah, guys, I love it. It's a 10 for me. And that's it from me today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like this video, like it right now. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on your post notifications and make sure you comment down below what you think of these trainers. Let me know your thoughts. If you think it's cost effective, if you think it's a no, I think it's cool anyway. Um, and if you have any suggestions of any black trainers you guys think that I should have a look at, let me know. Right now I've got my eye on a couple, but I don't want to spoil the fun. I'll bring them to you guys soon. And make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to see more cool looks from trainers like these and other looks that I've put together. You guys know I pop off anyway. Stop capping me. I know I took a long break from Instagram, but I'm back with the looks. I'm trying to build a new community as seen on Quiche. If you find any cool looks that I've done and you want to replicate it or make it your own, make sure you hashtag as seen on Quiche and I'll be sure to repost it. Guys, I didn't even tell you my Instagram. That's K W I S H O G R A P H E R. Go follow me right now. I'll wait. Thank you. See you guys later. Bye. No, seriously, bye. No, click off the video. Bye. Okay. Okay, bye.